The Power of Argument by Mr. Amster. Before we begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. Debating. Debating is an argument. That is not to say that it is an undisciplined shouting match between parties that passionately believe in a particular point of view. In fact, in many cases, the opposite is true. So when you are arguing with your siblings or your parents, telling them how they are ruining your life, you are not having a debate with them. You will often find yourself in a position where you have to argue the opposite of what you actually believe in. And the better are that you are understanding the opposite of what you believe in, the better off and the stronger your argument will be. Debating has strict rules of conduct and quite sophisticated arguing techniques. Most importantly, you need to be respectful. Please take a moment and highlight not undisciplined shouting match, strict rules of conduct, sophisticated techniques. Now there are three ways to appeal to your audience. The most common and the one most of you use is the emotional argument. And sadly, for you, it is the least effective. You fuel those emotions. You get fired up. You get really excited. And you're like, face is going red. You're feeling really good. And then your parents say, no. Or the person you're against says, no. In fact, one of the more effective ways is to be logical. Stick to the facts of the argument. Stick to statistics. It's very persuasive. If A students are getting, uh, all have cell phones that they can use to access, you know, the information on the internet, that would be a strong argument. Unfortunately, there is no s statistics that demonstrate high aptitude and having a cell phone. Sorry. However, there are other ways to argue. There's the ethical, the moral of everything, the right and wrong, principles and values. It is the least used, but often can also be very persuasive. If you are in position of trying to get a phone, perhaps the argument is, Mom, everyone else has one. Don't you want me to be safe? Don't you want to know where I am? You can always text me and check in with me, and I, that way you'll always know that I'm safe and sound. That would be an example of an ethical argument. Please take a moment and highlight emotional, logical, and ethical. Argument, fueled feelings, fact-based, right and wrong values. Two sides. It's not enough to have good arguments just for your side. Oh, no, no. Greater success occurs when you can understand the weaknesses of your arguments and work around them, while also being able to break down your opponent's strongest points as well. The end. Yeah!